Welcome back to the Smugsy Show. After a couple weeks vacation, I came back to Maine and learned that Kirk Minahan had spent the weekend here and wanted to kill himself. And I was like, wow. So what happened? I missed the show, but a video was produced by some of the fans. One in particular described his experience at the Saco Drive-In for the Kirk Minahan show. And from what I can recall, it was like, this guy is like divorced and probably in his 50s and drove up from Rhode Island and just basically got hammered. Um, went to the casino in Oxford County. I said it was disgusting, dirty, but he spent a lot of time there. And then he um, slept in the parking lot of Cabela's in Scarborough and um, the casino was a dump and apparently while sleeping in the Cabela's parking lot um, this guy um, from Rhode Island needed to take a dump so he like did his business in the bushes um, and used his sock he says in some capacity he, was very, um, he thought that was very funny um, and then he um, spent time in a public shower. He had sort of like a homoerotic experience in a public shower. And then just spent the day um, spending, you know, a lot of close-up time with people in Maine, like um, at water parks. And um, so he um, he got so hammered at the show that he forgot, like his son was supposed, he was supposed to take his son fishing. So, um, but he forgot, so his son had to wait six hours. And he described, um, and other people chimed in about this, um, other great thing about the show is that um, not only was this large gathering of like 250 or 300 people from like Florida, New York, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Pennsylvania, not wearing masks, totally partying, touching each other, hugging each other, ah, sharing chocolates um, in that like 95 degree heat for like eight hours at a facility that only served hot dogs. Um, so apparently at this gathering, um, there was this baby whose health had been compromised in the past and had been the subject of fundraisers. This baby was, according to this guy on this video who was describing his great time at the Kirk Minahan show, so the baby was being passed around like the Stanley Cup. So um, I, um, you know, I listened to um, the description and I was like, wow, no wonder... Kirk is depressed. So now I get it. Now I understand why Kirk is, you know. Um, so I do get it, but I'm not not quite willing to thank him yet. There's this campaign now. So Kirk Minahan had this two-day show, and then he immediately had to take an emergency, allegedly, mental health leave. I'll get more to that later. Um, and uh, so his fans really wanted to thank him. So they got this hashtag going because they just can't. So um, I'm not going to go there because, like, a lot could happen. I'm going to wait 14 days before I decide if I'm going to thank Kirk Minahan for coming to Maine and doing his two days of shows because, it, like I said, it was a gathering of people completely against the law. Um, people coming in from out of state were supposed to have had either a negative COVID test or quarantine for 14 days plus um you know people weren't wearing masks um so it was really it maybe you saw what happened with the chain smokers that's a group from maine a band from maine that is now under investigation because of an event in new york so uh i'm wondering you know maybe if if kirk isn't really that depressed maybe he's on the lam because um, you know, there could be some trouble there. So now I know you're, some of you might be thinking like, is she, is she making fun of Kirk Minahan saying that like she understands that's why she's going to kill herself because she saw what the show is about. Like maybe you think like that's so outrageous. Well, it's fair game. So just relax. It's fair game because Kirk Minahan jokes about things like children getting raped and 
really more importantly from like a legal perspective you know he jokes constantly about blindness and disabilities he's just a it's an ongo I mean he has a caricature on his show right blind Mike who is used to sort of like be the stereotypical blind person so because he makes his own jokes about disability jokes about depression are fair game but also because he's really set the bar I mean he can't really complain that people are gonna make jokes about him so yes it's okay to make jokes about Kirk Minahan, but just back to me. So what am I going to do? Because he's taking a break. So Smugsy um, is, for people who aren't familiar, Smugsy is a um, parody account. Okay, it's a s- fictional character. Um, and the, the person behind Smugsy is a lawyer. So that's why um, I'm always kind of like a little bit curious from the legal perspective. So if there's legal drama with Kirk maybe getting arrested for spreading COVID and starting like a huge outbreak Um, or if he's murdered or something like that um, you know I would Smugsy obviously would have a purpose to continue because you know there'd be some things to comment on but um, other than that I mean I think I'm you know she's got to move on The, the whole story behind Smugsy is that she was originally you know a fan of the show um uh you know, really kind of a really important character in the whole, like, story of the Kirk Minahan show. Um, but she's in and out and then was, like, fighting against cancel culture and then got disgusted with the Kirk Minahan show and broke up with the show and went with Dave. So the pizza review show because it's shorter show. So um, then she was let back in, cut back out. Um, so Smugsy is this character who who's like kind of like creed de core is you have to write your own narrative right like especially if you're a fucking parody account um anyway attached to kirk minahan because it's like a you know so smugsy now is um the barstool cougar and so there's some opportunities i think you know there because like dave and big cat i think are doing this thing so and there's politics because you know that so there's could be some avenues um I guess it's possible Laura Lynn, you know, the mini lady, um, first lady of the mini fan universe. She, I, I think she was accused of being a slut, um, by this OG mini fan show that I was telling you about where the guy from Providence recounted how, um, <laughs> how really just brutally disgusting, um, <laughs> some people are. Um, so, um, yeah, where was I going with that? So anyway, um, let's see. Okay, so legal cougar. Oh, I guess. So you know. So why why do this smugsy thing? Well, um, well, I mean, it's a business. So you know how like PFT commenter and Barstool Sports. Um, uh, you know, this is like one of the biggest media businesses. Dave Portnoy interviewed with Donald Trump. So. I just want to, even though I'm reluctant to thank Kirk Minahan, I do want to thank Donald Trump because Smugsy, business behind Smugsy, like the back office of Smugsy, did get a small um, loan. And so I'm going to, you know, whatever, buy a couple of YouTube likes, maybe um, keep on working to, you know, accelerate. Um, the influence on the stoolies I mean I think I'm playing a pretty important role um you know Barstool Cougar is like it's like the smart it's like the smart person in the room you know it's like the person who's like okay kids you know um so I think the reason why there's a function for Smugsy in the Barstool universe even if Kirk Minahan you know either kills himself or causes a huge outbreak and kills others um I think there's a need for like a cougar because Dave is getting, I think, a little intellectually lazy um, because I'm not seeing any, I'm not seeing any back and forth. It's just like, yes, Dave, yes, Dave, yes, Dave, yes, Dave, because he's so important and he's interviewing the president. Okay, I get that. But I think to keep him sharp, like if he had a cougar around. So whatever, um, subscribe to the show and, you know, I'll keep you posted. Until next time, this is Smugsy signing off.